Before you even watch the video, leave a comment and let me know which question you want me to answer next. There's a lot of interesting questions from this question paper. But let's go ahead and take a look at 9.1. So in 9.1, the first question, determine given reasons any three other angles that are equals to D1. Right, we're going to take a look at that. First of all, let's take a look at our question statement. We have some keywords. AB is a diameter, right? So we know that AB is a diameter, subtends an angle of 90 degrees. And then A and B, AB and CD, they intersect at G. FD and FC are drawn. BA bisects the angle CAD. So that is the information we have. Some way, somehow, we're supposed to answer all the equations evolving, revolving around those key points. So let's go ahead and zoom in on D1, right? Without further ado, you should be able to see that uh, BC subtends D1, but BC also subtends A2 at the circumference of the circle. So why are we? what are we saying? We're saying that D1 is equal to A2 because they are subtended or they from the same arc. So that is uh, the first angle that is equal to A2. It becomes quite difficult to see the other angle which is equal to D1. But if you pay our attention to A2, we shall be able to conclude that A2 is equal to A1. I'm going to come back to that in a few. So in saying that, we are saying that D1 is equal to A1 because they are both equal to A2. And then why do we say that A2 is equal to A1? We say that because BA, BA bisects CAD. Yeah, that is why we're saying that. So we have one angle, the second angle, we just need the third. So let's go ahead and look for that angle. Right, can you see what I'm seeing? A2 should be equal to C2 because they are subtended by equal cause. FA is a radius, FC is a radius. FA subtends C2, FC subtends A2. So A2 is equal to C2, subtended by the same chord, like I've said. So we can conclude and say that D1 is equal to C2. So there we go. Three angles that are equal to D1. We can go ahead and move to 9.2. 9.2 show that DG is equal to GC. We want to show that DG is equal to GC. So let's go ahead and highlight DG and GC. So this is DG and then this is GC. There's a couple of ways we can actually prove that DG is equal to GC. We can prove that these two triangles are equal to each other. Uh, if we do that, then we can conclude that DG is equal to GC. Uh, but another way we can use, let me show you. We just need to prove that either G2 is equal to 90 degrees or G1 is equal to 90 degrees. If we can do that, we would have proved that DG is equal to GC because we would be saying that the radius bisects the chord and if it bisects the chord, uh, DG is equal to GC. So let's see how we can prove that G2 is equal to 90 or G1 is equal to 90. Well, we know that G2 uh, being an exterior angle, let me show you. G2 being an exterior angle should be equal to D3 plus D2 and A1. So G2 is equal to D2 plus D3 plus A1 because it is an exterior angle of this triangle. Right. So let's run with that idea. But we know that A1 is equal to D1. Right. We use that in 9.1 right here. So if we run with that idea, G2 is equal to D1 plus D2 plus D3. But what do you realize about D1 plus D2 plus D3? Take a look at this angle. It is subtended by the diameter AB. So G2 is equal to 90 degrees. So DG is equal to GC because the radius is perpendicular to the chord. If it is perpendicular to the chord, it will bisect the chord. So there we go. That is 9.2. 9.1, 9 9.2. Let's take a look at 9.3 and see what we can do in this one.
It is further given that the radius of the circle is 20 units. Calculate the length of BG. We want to calculate the length of BG if it is further given that the radius of the circle is 20 units. Ah, okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening. Uh, we have BG right here. Um, here we have an angle of 90 degrees. Um, we know that this angle is also 90 degrees. We know that this angle is 37 degrees because it is equals to D1. A1 is equals to D1. Um, so what can we do there? Uh, let's see. So in triangle DGB, we can take cos of theta, which is equals to the opposite over the adjacent. So cos of 37 in this case uh, will be equal to the opposite which is bg and the adjacent which is dg let's make the let's make dg the subject of the formula if we do that we're going to have dg being equal to bg over cos of 37 degrees right so that is what we have oh just made a mistake there let me erase that uh, so that what we, that's what we have if we take a look at that triangle. But another triangle we can pay at our attention to is triangle DGA. Let's run with the same idea in triangle DGA. We can say that cos of 37 degrees is equal to the opposite. The opposite in triangle DAG, if we are looking at this angle, will be DG. So this is DG over A. G. We know that the radius is 20. So from A to F is 20. From F to B is 20. But as we want to use only AG. So AG is going to be 40 minus BG. So there we go. Let's substitute DG from triangle DGB into this equation. We're going to give we're going to have cos of 37 being equals to dg dg is bg over cos of 37 everything divided by 40 minus bg so what can we do we can cancel out cos of 37 and cos of 37 we're gonna have or can we do that is that allowed can we cancel out things in that manner uh, I'm not quite sure. Rather, let me cross multiply because I don't want to make any silly mistake. If I cross multiply, I'm going to have cos of 37 multiplied by 40 minus BG. Being equals to BG divided by cos of 37. I think at this point, I'm quite convinced that I can cancel out cos of 37 and cos of 37. Does it make sense? Let me see. Can I do that? If cos of 37 was multiplying, I would be able to do that. But I'm not quite convinced that uh, that is allowed. Mm, I think I'm overcomplicating things here. Okay, let me just multiply out. Uh, cos of 37 multiplying by 40 is a decimal. I'm getting 31. So let's see. 31 point nine four five four minus cos of 37 bg i can leave that one out this is going to be equals to bg divided by cos of 37 so bg divided by cos of 37 um can i leave that one as it is or should i also put it in the calculator let me put it in the calculator so cos of 37 is 0 0.7986 so 31.9454 will be equals to oh minus cos of 37 bg so minus let me put that in my calculator 0 0.7986 bg this is equals to bg divided by 0.7896 i wonder if there's anybody else who solved the problem the way i'm doing here um i doubt so 
0.9454 will be equals to BG over 0 0.7896. So that is the same as 86, not 96. That is the same as uh, the inverse of that. So I get 1.2521 BG plus 1.7 not one but zero plus 0 0.7986 bg so 31.9454 is equal to you so that plus 0 0.78 i'm getting 2.0507 bg so i need to divide both sides by so 31.9454 divided by 2.0507 bg i'm getting 15.58 being equals to bg do we have the same answer here in 9.3 let me know in the comments